I want to show you how to implement time blocking inside of Notion. Time blocking is a time management approach that prompts you to divide your tasks into blocks of time in the day. Unlike my other videos, this is not going to be a database. We are actually going to create this time blocking template inside the body of the page with template buttons. With that being said, I am going to implement this page inside of a 2021 planner. That planner is available to duplicate down below. It just has all of the dates for this year already pre-filled inside of a database. What we're gonna do is put this time blocking template inside of this database so that any particular day that you want to implement time blocking, you can. And we'll also look at how to style a page so that we can time block for multiple days, not just one day. Let's just get right into it. If you're curious on how I set up my 2021 planner with all the dates already pre-filled, there will be a link down below if you guys want to check that out. But let's just go right into the main part of this database and create a template. I've already created a new timetable template. We're just going to go ahead and edit it. Off camera, I pre-filled all of my times. So I have everything from 5 a.m. to 12 a.m. here. You can see that I've divided it up a little bit so it's easier to look at. I have sort of the early morning here and then the mid morning the afternoon in green, the evening in blue, and later at night in purple. I also designed these times in the way of inline equations or KTEX. This is a functionality in Notion that allows you to not only create math equations, but also design your text in particular ways uh, with different color schemes and different stylings. Let me show you how I've designed these times in particular. Um, actually, let's create a template. Let's go forward slash template button. So let's just say new time. And I do want to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. And I'm going to duplicate what I have up here. And that's just going dollar sign, dollar sign. And what I like to do is just go uh, ellipses. So three dots and then two dollar signs at the end. And this will trigger a uh, inline equation. From here, what I have is backslash text color and in brackets, the color of the bullet point that I want. Let's say in this instance, I want teal. And I want it to be a bullet point, so I'm going backslash bullet. There's a plane going by. I live very close to an airport, so I have to constantly wait for these planes to go by. Okay. Next, I'm going to go backslash text and put in the text I want after this bullet point, which in this case may be like 12.30 a.m. I'm going to press close, and now... Every time I press this button, a new time will show up and I can go in and I can adjust what I need to adjust. You'll notice that after clicking on this template, all of the uh, duplicated fields have shown up below the template button. If you don't want that to be the case, I don't usually. I want it to all appear above. You'll notice all of these blank boxes below. I want to get rid of all of these. All the way up to my template button. If I go to press this button now, all the times will appear above the button. Quick tip, if you want to highlight an entire block and duplicate it, go to that block, press escape on your keyboard, it will highlight the entire block, and then go command D to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this and drag it over next to time, and I'm going to rename it to event. Make this bold as well. I'm just going to highlight all of these times here with that template button and I'm going to drag it underneath time. So this column here. And then I'm going to drag this column over. Maybe give event a background color of red. And then below this, we're going to create another template button. So forward slash template button. And in here, let's say the name is add new block time. Let's just leave it like that for now. What I'm going to do is go forward slash to do, create a to do box here and say new block. From here, what I want to do is just return or enter and then tab over. I want this to be a nested block. I'm going to backspace because I don't want it to be a to do list and then just enter down one more time. Now, if I go up to these six dots, it will highlight all of its nested blocks as well. And I just want to change the background color to gray. You'll see now that this block of color is flush with each block of time. This is flush with an entire hour time from 5.30 to 6.30. Of course, you can arrange your times in different ways. You can have 
four blocks of time equal one hour. You can do 15 minute intervals. You can do hour intervals. You can do whatever you'd like. So every single time I press this template button, a new block will appear above it. If I wanna drag these blocks out for more time, maybe this block of time here, I want it to be from 8 a.m. to 10.30. I can just press enter a couple times and it will extend. I can also change the color of this block to maybe pink. And yeah, you can start creating kind of like a little color scheme. Me personally, I like doing color schemes that aren't necessarily uh, dependent on difficulty or priority. I like doing it by type. So I might have like green blocks be writing articles, blue blocks be for managing emails or admin, something like that. If I click on any day within my planner now, I have the option to create a new timetable. And I can go ahead and plan for April 24th. Let's go over to the original daily document page and create something that is a little bit more complex where we can plan for multiple days. Right down here at the bottom of the 2021 planner, we are going to create a almost like a weekly or really I want to create a three day planner. So we're just going to go ahead and make three different columns in addition to this time column, but you can always add more columns if you want to do that. And again, let's just drag all of these time blocks underneath of the time column. Duplicate this one more time. So this will be uh, for tomorrow and then another one for the next day. Adjust this a couple notches, bring this middle one into the center here. Now what I wanna do is replace some of these headers. So the first one I wanna be at today. So that's just the at symbol and today, and that'll give me a date. So let's do at tomorrow. And then when we're done with the three days, we can delete every one of these columns and start over for the next week or the next three days, however many uh, intervals of days you want to use here. And let's get started making those templates. So do what we did before and just go forward slash template, template button. But before we configure it, let's configure it outside of the template. Let's go forward slash to do, new block, enter, tab, just delete that and then enter again, highlight this gray and slide it right into this configuration. So I wanna do a little bit more with this. Really, it depends on your screen size, like if this is useful or not, because as you create more columns, these blocks become narrower and narrower and that can be kind of annoying because if I were to go and type in some description of a task, it will, automatically wrap that text. So a way to get around this, it's a little bit of a hacky workaround, but what I'm gonna do is create a toggle. I'm gonna go forward slash toggle, and I'm actually just gonna enter an emoji here. And inside of this clipboard, we're gonna put in any sort of extra information we want for this block, a description, a list of subtasks. So I can go forward slash code. What I wanna do is create a code box. So capture a code snippet, is the description of this. Inside of here, we can start writing some descriptions. And the reason why I'm using this is because if I go to these three dots here, where it says wrap code, I'm gonna make sure that's turned off, which it should be automatically. And then I can just write as much as I want and it will extend horizontally instead of vertically. This is really helpful. So let's just keep that there. And that'll be our time block for our weekly view or our next three days view. So add new time block, add new time block. And let's just duplicate this another two times. Again, we're going to make sure that there are no empty blocks below this button so that each new block adds to the top of the button and to extend it another amount of hours I can just keep pressing that enter button within the nested blocks. Let's say there's an instance where maybe this block here on Tuesday, I actually want to work on this today as well. 
I can go up to this parent um, block here that says new block and command D to duplicate and then just drag it over to today. What I can also do is nest time blocks. I thought this was really interesting. Like let's say for this block here under today, I duplicate it and it's actually gonna be a part of this task over here, the second gray task under Tuesday, or rather let's do the one for tomorrow. This task here, let's say this one is product review. And this block directly relates to that. So I'm just going to nest it under this gray block. You'll have to take a look at what time it associates. Maybe adjust accordingly. You can also press this plus here next to this green block and the yellow will extend. So you could really have fun with this. When you're done with the three days or the week that you have set up, in order to quickly delete everything, what I recommend doing is pressing shift, going down to the last block and clicking it. And you can delete an entire row. So that's clicking that parent in the first block, shift down to the last. And then just adjusting these dates to Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when those days come around. Let me know down in the comments what you guys use time blocking for. I'm curious, do you already use something like this inside of Notion, outside of Notion, why or why not? Also, of course, as always, there will be links down below to duplicate this template or to simply just take a look at what we made here. There will also be a Discord link down in the description if you have any more specific questions you wanna ask me about Notion. And that's about it. So I will see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter and next week with a new video. I'll see you then.